We've got our guy Otis Kirk in here now talking recruiting and Nick Turner. This is a big get for Arkansas. We were just talking about it off camera. This guy was previously committed to Georgia Tech, a defensive back that's coming to Arkansas. Yeah, he, uh, he was committed to Georgia Tech when he actually visited here. He visited uh, on October the 19th for the Auburn game, Drew, and uh, he uh, was committed to Georgia Tech at the time, said to Arkansas visit, put him, put him up there with him. But then he decommitted on December the 2nd from Georgia Tech, and uh, Sam uh, Pittman went in and did an in-home with him, uh, I want to say on uh, the 11th, I believe, December 11th. Went in before the dead period and did an in-home with him, and uh, and Nick really liked Coach Pittman, likes what Arkansas do. He liked, he loved Arkansas when he was up here. And here's what I really, probably more than, well, two things about Nick. His speed, he ran a 4.48 at a combine. Really? Right? That's laser. Wow. That's laser. That's not handheld. That's at a Nike uh, opening, I believe. Uh, and then he can play corner or safety. He's six foot, one, uh, 186, something like that. Uh, they can. He's very versatile. They can use him, like I said, at corner or safety. And, and when you get a kid that fast that can play both, uh, that that spells good things, you know. Penn State, uh, uh, Baylor, Tennessee, Texas Tech were some some of the schools besides Georgia Tech in Arkansas that offered him. So Arkansas got a good one there, really good one. Another defensive guy to talk about, Jaquelu McGee, yeah. and quick twitch. What's this guy going to bring? <laughs> well, here's what I like about him: he's six four, two fifty five. He may even grow into an interior player, but right now he's he's only played football for a couple of years, so he's he, a little. Uh, I don't well a little bit. I can say a little bit of an unknown. I mean, I don't know it's just if that's the right. right now, yeah, raw. yeah, yeah. That's kind of you know he's only played two years, so I, try, I don't know it. Unknown is really the best word, but yeah, he's he's raw right now, and he's so his upside is tremendous. He's only going to get better. So I really like the fact that, uh, and the thing about him is. You like that Sam Pittman knew about him when he was at Georgia. Sam goes in there and offer. He was one of the first offers for Arkansas when Sam got to Arkansas. He remembered him from you know knowing him in high school, and uh, yeah, they went in there and offered him and uh, got a commitment. He's going to be here. In fact, he and Nick Turner will both be here on uh, January the 17th. The thing impressive about McGee maybe is he 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 committed sight unseen. Mm -hmm. You know, Turner, like I said, he had been here for an official visit, but McGee, sight unseen, like felt comfortable with Pittman. He said, let's get this done. So, I mean, you, you know, you like that, the fact that he trusted Sam enough to make a commitment without seeing the play. Yeah. And once he gets here, you know, obviously, we hear this from every recruit. It's a lot better than I thought it was. So mm -hmm. <laughs> he's going to love it when he gets here. I, you know, hopefully the weather is good. But, but he, it, it's just, it's good when you see a kid trust a coach enough to put their, you know, say, hey, I'm committing. I'll see it later. Yeah. And Sam's had that effect. You look right. at Julius Coach signed with them. He hadn't seen the place. Uh, Keelan uh, Burley, he, uh, Kellen Burley, he hadn't seen the place either. So, I mean, that's impressive when you've got a coach that can go out here and make people feel comfortable enough to s not just commit but sign and not ever see the place. Yeah, it speaks to how well-known Pittman <laughs> exactly. is in the recruiting ranks. Yeah. Let's talk about Terry Wells, another guy in the trenches. This guy, offensive side of the football, old lineman, and he has an offer from Arkansas, yeah. but where else is he looking right now? Well, he got an offer from Kansas Southern Miss. Here's the thing about Terry. 6'5", 280, was the best offensive lineman at the lineman camp last summer. 2021, he's a little bit different than the other two kids we just talked about, but he's 2021. I think at the end of the day, and there's some really good players in that 20. He's the third player that we know about that's got an offer to Arkansas, Aaron Outley from Parkview and Drake Norwood from Northside. But at the end of the day, Terry Wells may eventually prove to be the best player in the state in that class. I don't know what he will, wow. but he's got, he's, in that, he's, he's got a chance. He's, he's that good. He, his, his future is really bright. He went to, he went, uh, to a combine in San Antonio, Friday, I believe it was, and just was named the outstanding lineman in the morning session down there at that All-American uh, Combine. So it's a big kid. He can run. He's another great player from Wynn. You know, they've turned out some good ones. Mm -hmm. Some of uh, Aaron Dixon, you know, D'Angelo Williams, Antonio Warren. You know, they, you know they, they've turned out. And there's others. I mean, that's, but that's just some off the top of my head that came from Wynn that, are, that didn't necessarily come to Arkansas but had great careers. So, yeah, he's just the latest in a long line of 
players from that school. All right, give me the timeline on Malik Hordes. We're going to make an official here January 24th. Ah, big-time quarterback, four-star uh, down to Arkansas and Baylor probably, although he's visited. He was committed to, to, to kind of a connection here. He was committed to North Carolina, and then Jacoby Criswell committed out there. And so <laughs> Hornsby and then and another quarterback at North Carolina State is – or North Carolina, I'm sorry, is a freshman. Pretty darn good ball player. He saw him. Everybody was impressed with him and Bogey. But – He's visited, uh, he's visited uh, North Carolina, he's visited Purdue, and he's visited Texas A&M. He's, he's got 26 offers. He played in the All-America game yesterday. He's got Arkansas and Baylor still kind of considering those two. Here's a kid that, uh, you know, Arkansas needs a quarterback in this class. We can debate if it should be a grad transfer, if it should be a JUCO, mm -hmm. if it should be a high school. I mean, we can debate that all day, but this is a kid that you, you, there's no debate on. I mean, he is a big-time player, mm -hmm. and Sam's trying to get him. He's a, he, For anyone that doesn't know, he's a dual threat. He's got uh, roughly 3,900 yards of total offense this year. He passed for 2320, rushed for 1582. Wow. So those are staggering. And led his team to the state championship game, if I'm not mistaken. He's from uh, Missouri City, Fort Ben Marshall. If I'm not mistaken, I think they got beat in the finals. But he led them there, and he's a big-time quarterback. So that's that's the kind of quarterback that you want to mm -hmm. get in this program, the dual threat. And that's what I like about it. They're recruiting to what they're going to do, not taking, you know, a uh, pro passer and trying to make a dual mm -hmm. threat. You know, By need. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's talk about three guys in particular that were committed at one time. Yeah. Alan Horace, Brendan Frazier, Savion Williams. We know Horace is a name that's really been mentioned out there a lot. And you kind of mentioned it off camera as well. they got to get another tight end. Yeah, they've got two scholarship tight ends over there. And Kern will be a senior. And Hudson will be a redshirt freshman, Hudson Henry. And that's it. That's all they've got on scholarship over there. And then, uh, you know, they had three or four leave, you know, some seniors and, and one grad transfer with uh, Gun Grayson Gunner. Grayson Gunter. Yeah, yeah but, uh, but they've got to get some. And these are kids that were committed at one time set up and had visited, but now they're going to visit again. Uh, uh, Horace and Savion will be here on the 17th, and Brandon will be here on the 24th. Uh, Brandon, Brandon's looking hard at Auburn, Alabama, Arkansas. Horace is looking, you know, pretty hard at uh, Maryland, Texas, San Antonio, and Arkansas. Arkansas, you know, of course, Texas, San Antonio is where Jeff and Barry are at. Right. He was really close to them, so that may be tough. And then Savion, he's got Ole Miss, Washington State, Kansas. Uh, there's been a bunch of schools come in on him, and some of those had offered beforehand. But uh, you know, Arkansas is trying to get him back in. They probably you probably feel a little bit better about him maybe than you do the others, simply because Arkansas kept step, and that was the coach that recruited him. Right. Uh, now, I mean, Trailer obviously in East Texas played a role in it, mm -hmm. but his position coach is still here. Whereas, like I said, with Lunny and and trailer, uh, Lunny's, they're, they're in San Antonio, so that may make it tougher on the tight ends. But whether it's those two kids or someone else, uh, Drew, they've got to find at least one tight end in this class, and, maybe, and probably two, to be honest with you. Yeah, well documented the inroads that Justin Stepp has made in recruiting yeah. as a receivers coach for Arkansas. Kevin Compton, quickly touch on him from yeah. Watson Chapel. Man, he's a kid that uh, really wants to be a Razorback, got a chance to be a preferred walk-on. He uh, took, He's going to visit on the 31st. Love the kid. Very good baseball player, very good student, can play uh, safety, can play wide receiver, can play corner. There again, he's versatile. And he's got, you know, he's a kid that uh, just – Wanted to be a Razorback so bad he hadn't offered Louisiana. You know, people may scoff at that, but Billy Napier's got that program going. That's a they good. They played program. well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they played well. And then you know, uh, Baylor offered him, uh, gave him a preferred walk-on offer, and uh, you know, and he doesn't want to be a Baylor Bear. He wants to be a Razorback, and he's he's got that chance, and he's probably going to take it. And uh, and also just. Get well, Canaan. You know, you got yeah. to tell Canaan Sandy, Canaan Sandy to get yes. well out there, man. Yep. I mean, that's my guy. Yep, we're thinking about you. And in the meantime, yeah. hogville.net, you can go there. That's where your work is, so check it out. Oldris Kirk, our recruiting insider. More of the Pig Trail coming up after this.